Here at Burnside, it's the ground zero of modern skateboard parks. Portland has a 19 park plan to build different types of skateboard parks throughout the city. Ben Cron definitely knows this park like the back of his hand. He can put a line together most don't even understand. The difference is, is that it was built in stages and they were figuring out how to build it as they built it. A lot of the obstacles are really unusual. You gotta figure out how to skate this park. You can skate here, you're good to go. Over at Ed Benedict, it's more of a skate plaza, if you will. We invited Mikey Taylor and his friend Tyson Reynolds to come by. Those guys really have the ability to show you what modern street skating is. Portland's got a lot of like super, super sick parks. It's cool to have like one that's just so uh, coordinated like street. The city of Portland definitely takes account for all the skaters. And the last couple of years they've been cranking these parks out. I don't know how many new ones we have, but there's quite a few. Glen Haven, where you have street features, but also you have transitional elements and cool coping. We've got the bacon guys there that skate with Johnny Turgeson, Stephen Reeves, and Ben Wixon, a collective group of bull riders. The city's really down for skateboarding. The skateboarding scene is amazing. It's a different vibe. It's a good one. As the city saw that it was, I mean, with the whole Burnside thing, they saw that and just kind of grew from there. It's, all of them are super easy to get to, you know, not confusing, not hidden. And, yeah, it's, got, it's got something for everyone. If you're really looking for a diverse experience to skateboard different types of terrain, Portland is it. Thanks for coming by and checking out the city of Portland. I'm Bryce Knights for Fuel TV, Do Underground.